And I want to bring that same experience of me discovering house music and how discovering electronic music to North Bay, to people that just haven't had the opportunity or don't know that that's something they would want to experience. You, know? you need to experience it. You need to experience it. And if you like it, awesome. If you don't like it, okay, awesome. Richard Forte presents. Ladies and gentlemen, you made it to episode 27 of Richard Forte Presents right here in Suite 16 Studio in North Bay, Ontario. Today, I have a treat for you and for me because we are just getting to know each other truly in this moment. His name is Holzer. Go. I got it right. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> Woo! Thanks for coming here, man. Of course. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, I want to hear a little bit about what it is exactly you love about music. Music is just the way to escape from anything. Whether it's bad or good, you just have a moment of bliss and creativity. And honestly, you can make it whatever you want. It's just a moment of just something that is beautiful, in my opinion. When did you realize you love music? Um, <laughs> to be honest, um, ever since I like started listening to music and really enjoying music and like starting to create it and make it is when I specifically started listening to heavy metal. <laughs> I grew up in a household where reggae, smooth jazz, and a lot of soft music was played. So my parents were dancing, having a good time, but I'm the only one to sleep. So I discovered something heavier and I love it. And I knew that this is the kind of music that I want to give, you know, my shot at it. And after, ever, ever since that, I just kept going harder and harder and harder, different genres, but more on the aggressive side that I really enjoy. And that's when I knew I, I love, love music. <laughs> and right now you're making music, you're producing your own music? I am, yes. Tell me a bit about the group you're involved with or forming or this, this, this chemistry that's setting things off in your creative life right now. So North Base is basically a, a group of people that want to have more than just a house party to play for. It's not necessarily just one person. It's not necessarily just a group of people. It's just whoever wants to be part of it in a way. So if you're tired of playing just a house party, if you're, you know, bought a little mixer for DJing and from Long McQuaid or something like that, and you're only playing for yourself and maybe a live stream before five, Five people at most, North Base is a thing for you. We cater to all artists, not just electronic, but mainly electronic, um, all artists. We had um, Riot, one of the rappers that was on your show, at the North Base event at the Fraser, and he killed it. He did absolutely amazing, and people loved it. So we have a mixture of rap, hip hop, electronic music. I'm thinking about putting some, like, some rock music in there too, considering I love heavy metal. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a it's a group of people that want to have more than just what they currently have and they know they could do better and they know they have something good that they want to put out. How often are you hoping to do the events? So at first it was just a yearly thing. Then people started wanting to get more and more into it. So we started doing uh, twice a year and we started getting more people wanting to do it. So we, but I don't want to do it more than every couple months because I, I want to keep the Keep on keep it genuine, you know. I want to have it uh, keep it like people like, like people wanting to go. Like I want people to go and say, "Oh wow, I'm excited for this." Versus like, "Oh, I'll skip this one. I'll I'll go on for that." Yeah, you because know? it's <laughs> just gonna happen in another yeah. week. Yeah, um, but I just basically like I North Bay started from house parties. It started from very small house parties, from the tiniest, sweatiest basement you could find, from a bigger house, from. The party would happen the same night, but it would move from one house to another house to another house to another house in the whole neighborhood because the police would shut it down and we'd get noise complaints. Um, now that it's more of a legit thing and it's more of people are actually like know what North Base is and they're going out of their way to get there, you know? It's, it makes me feel awesome. It makes me feel that North Bay has a love for EDM, has a love for going out to a rave, has a love for just local music and not just wanting to spend so much money on a festival and not giving the, you know, the smaller guys any, any luck or any yeah. attention. Yeah. So you're making music yourself, are you? I make new, making music under the name Holzer and it's, I don't even know how to really describe it, to be honest. It's EDM, um, dubstep, 
meets cinematic film scores meets I love that. heavy meta. Yeah, I I'm I love it. There's just something about if you know when you see a movie, action scene, drums, oh, yeah. strings, everything's going hard. It's it's really high tension, but it makes you feel good. Yes. Or like a romantic scene and everything's slower, but like there's just anything that just has a lot of feeling and emotion into it. Yeah. I would I love putting that into a very aggressive bass line. Yeah. And I think dubstep Bass, bass house, mid tempo, any sort of just bass music, yeah. any subcategory under the huge umbrella of bass music, yeah, yeah is what I think is one of the best <laughs> uh, genres of EDM. Even though I love all genres of EDM, like I, I've gone to many festivals, gone to many shows. Like, I, for example, my first taste of house music was in Toronto, and I got a call from my buddy saying, "Hey, you need to come to this party." And I say, "Where is this party?" He goes, "It's." I can't tell you, I just need to pick you up and we'll go. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, all right. I grab a Mickey Cat Morgan, <laughs> put, it, put it in my, uh, my jacket, and it's in a shipment container off of uh, Polson Street in Toronto, off the pier. Yeah. <laughs> and it is, it's sweaty in there. People are like shaking like the whole container. I'm where we could get picked up and dropped off into a ship. <laughs> but it was, honestly, it was, I heard it was a famous DJ, but they had a mask on because there was eight security guards around them. <laughs> so no one does that in Toronto in a shipment container, you know? <laughs> so I'm thinking like, wow, this is amazing. I was expecting like a punk show, like a heavy metal show, and it was just straight house, night bass, deep house. It was one of the most amazing things ever. And I, I, it's one of my favorite parties. And I want to bring that same experience of me discovering house music and how discovering electronic music to North Bay, to people that just haven't had the opportunity or don't know that that's something they would want to experience. You, know? you need to experience it. You need to experience it. And if you like it, awesome. If you don't like it, okay, awesome. That's okay. Either way. Least, yeah. Exactly. So what would you say you love so much about uh, the film? Like you're, you studied uh, cinematography yes. um, and you work in film. Mm -hmm. What do you like about that art form? What is it that... Um, makes you so dedicated to learning so much about being in that domain. I find that I'm more of a creative person. Yeah. I enjoy work that I could be creative in and still get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> and I could help and contribute towards whatever project is being made. Mm -hmm. And that's when I feel like the film industry and music is definitely the way to go for me personally. I've done office jobs where I'm in a cubicle, nine to five. As much as I love that, I really don't, to be honest. This is where I thrive. This is where I feel happy about. And this is where I feel I could live the rest of my life in and be happy. Uh, what else do we need to know about what you're up to? What else do you want to get the word out about? Um, so I'm working on an album called Vitals. Yes. And it comes from all the inspiration from cinematic scores to heavy metal to bass music. But I want it to be more of just, instead of a one track, two track, three track, I want it to be like a journey. I want people to really listen to the first track to the last track without even knowing that songs are simultaneously going. You <laughs> um, enter the vortex. Yeah, you enter the world of Holzer, or as I'm, for my fan base, the vault. <laughs> so you enter the vault and you uh, just go for the ride. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're working on right now? Yeah, currently working on right now, yeah. And North Base. <laughs> that's amazing. Awesome. Where do people find you? How do we link up? Uh, you can find me at Holzer Music on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Everywhere. Holzer Music, everywhere. <laughs> Bang out! That was and, great. And North Base Live. North Base at North Base Live on all platforms. Amazing! That's it. <laughs> we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for checking this show out. I would love if you subscribe to the channel on YouTubes and on Facebooks and on Instagrams. Please subscribe. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for checking it out. And we'll talk to you soon.